Hi everybody, um, first thing to tell you is that I am exhausted today, um, I've been, I had a, a root canal treatment um, over the weekend and oh god it was the most painful thing and um, it's going to be a week at least before the swelling and bruising goes down in my tooth, it's so sore, I can't chew on that side, I'm still eating, I'm coping with it but it, I'm wait because I grind my teeth at night I'm waking up at 3am with excruciating pain all through my, it's through my face really, all through my cheeks, it's really not nice. So I'm, I'm keeping on top of the painkillers and just kind of hoping that it'll calm down in its own good time. Um, but aside from that, nobody really got any sleep last night. Um, April, the new girl, well I say no, she's been here for a month, um, had to be restrained I think four times last night. She's tried to run away again. All we can hear all night long is screaming and shouting and why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I mean, she got restrained in my down my corridor yesterday, um, and my friend got trapped in her room because she was restrained just outside the door. She couldn't get out, so she was subjected to listening to her screaming, swearing, and shouting, having an absolute fit for about a good solid ten minutes, and it's really distressing every single one of us now. And poor one of the patients whose room is next to April's is really on the brink of leaving because it's just constant now and. We're all hoping that she's either going to get moved or something's going to be done because it cannot go on like this because we're all on edge right now and it's terrible. Um, so yesterday was quite a good day. I um, went to the gym with my friend and uh, the Virgin Gym down in Kirkstall. So did a good like hour and a half kind of session of like proper physical workout. The first lot of physical stuff I've done really since I've been here and I, you know, I felt it. It was hard, really hard. Um, I mean, I've, I could only manage running for about 10 minutes before I had to, you know, slow down to a walk. So um, it was a little bit triggering, though, because the machines have the number of calories you're burning on them. And I find it very difficult to not look at that and want to, you know, push myself. Even if I don't have any the stamina to do it, I have to, you know, I'll get a number in my head like my 100 calories. That's what you're going to do. You cannot leave this machine until you hit that number. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter if my back's hurting, my knees are hurting, I have to do it. And it's very, it is very triggering. So I need to be very careful about that because I have been thinking that when I come home, I want to sign up to a gym just so I can stay on top of my weight. Um, I don't know what my weight's at at the minute with me only being weighed once a week now. I'll find out on Thursday. Um <clears throat> But I'm just really not in a very good place right now with my mood. There's a lot of things happening outside of here that are uh, stressing me out a bit and things that need resolving which don't ever seem to be resolved. And um, I'm just very worried about um, a lot of things. And it's, it's, some, of the, some of the things are really small, some of them are a lot bigger. Um, I don't really want to go into detail about them because it's just a big long story. But... Um, at the minute, I'm just trying to not let my... Um, I mean, right now, for example, I don't want to have my lunch. I just don't feel like eating at all. Um, I will. I know I'll have to, but I know that this afternoon is going to be full of just crap because I'll be feeling rubbish for having eaten when I don't feel like it. I'm f I just feel full of stodge. Now that I'm in stage three, I'm really hoping my diet can get changed because... I will continue to gain and I'm, I'm just we have a new dietitian that started here last week so I really want to try and get in to see her as quick as I can and I've had to think about my diet as it stands now and what I would like it to look like on my new diet plan at the minute I'm thinking of um, cereal but having no toast um, going down from four sub puddings to maybe three or even two a week um, having half of my supper in an evening and um, no afternoon snack or making that optional if I'm hungry I'll have it if not I won't but um you know or having fruit instead I'm just trying to cut down on the crap that I'm eating because as well the, there are things that I need to challenge that I haven't been able to here like um take for example like um granola bars or nuts and seeds which you know typically we haven't really been allowed um you know challenging kind of healthier foods as well because some of those can be really difficult and I'm just struggling at the minute to find snacks that aren't laden with rubbish. <laughs> but sticking within the rules and guidelines of being in here, and it's really difficult. Um, Body-wise, not terribly happy. Can't do anything about it at the minute.
So I'm, I'm just feeling a lot of pressure at the minute and stress and but it's these things that need to change that are, at the minute they're out of my control I have no say right now um, but I will leave it there because I'm about to go into a group meeting um, it's menu planning this morning I think we'll be doing a lot of things based around Christmas because obviously Christmas for everybody here is a very stressful time so we're going to be working a lot over on that stuff in the next couple of weeks so um, I'll let you know how that goes and I will speak to you later alright bye